Are you atheist? This is the strongest proof that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will resurrect you after death. Astonishing, astounding miracle of Islam on coccyx and sacrum. Prophet Muhammad Hassan says that this lowest part of the backbone of the spine, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us from it and it never decays and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will resurrect us from it. Hans Piemann in 1935 got the Nobel Prize because he discovered that this part contains the DNA and it is the primitive streak he called it. Britannica mentions that he named it the first organizer that spreads the creation cells to all the body. It doesn't decompose. Even you burn it, even you polarize it, because Sheikh Zendani headed towards China and polarize it and burn it and ground it, but the cells were still living. The first thing ever to form inside the fertilized egg is the primitive streak and the body originates from it and later on the DNA primitive streak turns to the tailbone. There are organizations around the world like Warnick that prohibit experimenting on the fertilized egg because hence be men uh, transplanted a baby and generated another baby which means that all the DNA exists in this uh, primitive organizer or the tailbone coccyx sacrum. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says that man was created from the tailbone and Allah will resurrect him from it and it never decays. This is in Sahih Muslim and Bukhari. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says that there is nothing in the human body that doesn't decay except this one, except the coccyx, the sacrum, the lowest part of the spine of the backbone. Allah created us from it and he will resurrect us from it. Also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Qaf that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreases from manhood in his tomb everything, but he has the preserving book. It is this one, DNA, that contains the DNA as Sheikh Zindani mentions. Kitabun Hafi. So, the question now to ask, Islamically speaking, who urged Prophet Muhammad SAW to penetrate into such deep down details to tell us these three scientific deep down detailed infos and accurate infos that this coccyx, this lower part, contains the DNA, the generating of the embryo, the creation of other cells from it, and later on it goes back to it, and that it is the preserving book, it never decays, man is generated from it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will resurrect us from it. Who told Prophet Muhammad Sassim about these infos? Ask yourself. Because the one who told us about the two unseen infos that science discovered is the one who told us that Allah will resurrect us from it. So don't neglect one and believe in two because of science. Believe in Quran and Sunnah too. Peace be upon the final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And you shall know its truth after a short while. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has showed you the proof. Don't neglect this. Otherwise, hell is awaiting you. Don't neglect these infos and share insha'Allah. And uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us steadfast on this religion. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.